Hey guys, do you want to do macro and still have out of focus and you don't have the money to spend on a macro lens? Well, there's a solution for that and that is tube extenders. So this is from a company called Mickey or Mikey. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but essentially these are extension tubes that make your lens farther away from your sensor, giving you macro. Now the only bad thing about this is that you're you're gonna increase your depth of field by many times and it'll essentially you'll have a pretty blurred background but we'll test that out and see how it works. So this is the most common kit. It comes with two of them, 10 millimeter and a 16 millimeter adapter. So let's open these up and see what they look like. All right guys, so this one's specifically for the Sony. All right, so it comes packaged. A little manual here, a little plastic baggie here. All right, this is what it looks like, guys. Pretty nice, actually. So it looks like we have a front cap, which will actually also work for your camera, and a rear cap, which will also work for your lenses. So the cool thing about these adapters is that it comes with the electronic connections. So essentially what you're doing is you're connecting to the camera here and you're able to use autofocus and whatever other lens features that you need. So that's pretty cool that it has the connection. So, All right, let's see how you take these apart. So it looks like there's a little release button here. I think you just pull it down and then you can, yes, twist it right off. So pretty cool. And they are labeled here with a little white dot. All right, guys, so let's put this on the camera and see what we can get out of it. All right, guys, so we switched to the Panasonic camera, the G85. So, and here is my main camera, and it's the A6500 with the 10 to 18 lens here. I also have a Sigma lens that goes on here. All right, so it should be as easy as taking the lens off. So the dot is right here, and you line up and just turn it on and now you have a connection so now you just put your lens on top of that and there you go guys See this cap here oh yeah guys definitely you got to get super close Let's see if I can snap a picture so yeah the depth of field is pretty great I mean even this being an f4 lens I can definitely tell there's um, distortion around the edges though it might be due to because of this being such a wide angle lens I don't know I think I'm getting the best result at 18 here on this lens at least as you can see guys I got a lot of distortion around the edges so I might be doing something wrong I'm not sure I'm guessing if I put this on there right now or swap it around this will make it even worse. All right guys, and this is my Sigma lens. If you don't have a Sigma lens yet for your Sony cameras, you should definitely think about getting either this one or the 16 millimeter, 1.4. These are amazing lenses. In any case, let's go ahead and put this on this 10 millimeter and see what happens. I did forget to mention that these do come with the metal housing. I went ahead and got these because they were a lot cheaper. This was under $20, and I think you can even buy them cheaper if you look on elsewhere. I got this on Amazon. So, but if you do want the metal ones, they do have them, but these are sufficient. All right, and so here is the Sigma lens on the 10 millimeter adapter. Now let's see what we can get out of this guy. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm this far now. It's definitely much sharper than it was, or at least seems like it much better picture for sure so that ultra wide lens this is a 30 millimeter so that ultra wide is just not suitable for this so this is working out really good now let's see if i can zoom into this picture oh yeah we got crazy detail guys now this lens is perfect this is not working with the tubes so if you have a wide angle lens probably not going to work out makes sense i guess yeah that's beautiful look at that that's just amazing. I'm zoomed in all the way and you can tell every detail. All right, well, I'm excited now. Well, before we get excited and go out and shoot a bunch of stuff, let's put this larger adapter on 
on this tin and see what that looks like. So now we're a bunch closer, I think. So before I was about this far away from the box or so now, looks like we're gonna need a lot more. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're starting to go into focus. Let's see, this close. See, I'm getting focus right there. So much closer, guys. Let's see if I can snap one here. Again, seems to be pretty good. I still see some fuzzing on the edges here. And I'm not sure it's because I don't have it completely level to the side. The depth of field is just too too strong. So let's zoom into this and see what it looks like. Oh man, guys, that is just excellent. It even got better. I mean, look how close I am now. All right, let's see what happens if we put both of them on, the 16 and the 10. See uh, what kind of result we're going to get out of that. Let's find out. Yeah, that makes it pretty long. There is a slight wobble in the... They're not completely, like... They move around just a little bit. Not a big deal. I'll tell you when I have focus. Right now, I cannot find focus. Yeah, it's not... It's jumping all over the place. I can see focus once in a while, but... It's just not working out. Yeah, it's not working out. So I, I probably need a higher millimeter lens to use the to use both of these guys, so, which I do not have. All right, so I guess that's not going to work. So let's go ahead and take off that 10. So it looks like for my use, the 16 millimeter would be perfect. Let's go out there and take some photos.
guys. So I'm actually really impressed with this thing. So I used the 16 and the 10. And it looks like 10 is way more manageable, especially out there, you know, when things are moving. And for video, for sure, 10 only. Um, if you need crazy depth of field, you know, 16 is definitely, you know, pretty crazy. So I have a feeling that if I had like a 50 millimeter or more, maybe like an 85, this would actually look very awesome. So I'm not sure exactly what would happen, but kind of curious now, to be honest. <laughs> but in any case, I have a 30. So I think if you have a 50, you might hit the sweet spot. So uh, I'm actually really excited because uh, a lot of times I want to get up really close to something when I'm doing like a product review, when I show something really close, maybe a detail or something. Man, this is going to be awesome, guys. I know a lot of you guys probably want to maybe do macro. I think this is a good way to go. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and the sample photos and videos. So if you guys want to pick these up, I'll leave a link in the description. I think it's a great value for you get. If you want to pay $10 more, you can get the metal housing. So yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, I do reviews on this channel. And you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.